Hey Gemini, getting ready to do your reading. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with all of you. And the energies can be reversed, so I can be talking about the energy of uh, the cross watcher, okay? Let's get some energy for the sign of Gemini, please. Let's get some energy for the sign of Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Get three cards for the sign of Gemini, please. <sighs> Moving on, Destiny Authority. Let's get three more for the sign of Gemini, please. So far, Gemini, I see um, there's going to be a lot of big changes for you. And it all has to do with uh, you taking action. Um, your person could be moving on to their destiny. And their destiny is you. Um, and they have to take control. That's the only way they can move on is if they take control. Let's get three more cards for Gemini. Disruption. Universe. Choose why you So I think what this person is moving on from is people that try to get in the way. People that try to confuse them. Um, but I really think it's inevitable that what's going to happen is going to happen, right? Because um, it's destiny. So I feel like for most of you, Gemini... Your person is dealing with a lot of things that's around them that's not really uh, for this connection or necessarily for their spiritual journey on their own. This person has to take a lot of um, seven of cups and the emperor. That's what I get with this. Um, they have to take authority over what they want in life. They can't let anyone confuse them or else they're not an emperor. They have to take control of every decision that has to be made, right? With the Destiny in the Universe card, I think whatever is supposed to be happening is destined. Um, um, it's on your path. Or it's on your person's path, right? Uh, the Universe cards has a lot to do with, you know, things coming in full circle, too. So, moving on, definitely. Because we have moving on and disruption. So there could be a little bit of um, obstacles in the way of moving on, Gemini. But I really feel like it's it's still bound to happen. Okay? Give me some energy for the sign of Gemini, please. For sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Energy for Gemini, please. Gemini. Okay, King of Wands. Six of Pentacles, the Tower, Seven of Wands, Three of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and then we have the High Priestess. Okay, Gemini, so something happened. Someone's left out in the cold right now. I really feel like for most of you, it's like one of those things where... Someone is choosing a different road, um, and they're using their intuition. It's like no one else is telling them to do this. They're using their intuition right now. Tell me about the King of Wands here for Gemini. The Hermit. So someone is going after what they want after maybe being in an enlightenment moment. It's like they had to look deep within to figure out what they really wanted to take action um 
they could have separated themselves from you, but now they're coming. Uh, they're coming off as a fire sign. Tell me about the high priestess, please. We have Pisces here. Okay. Tell me about the seven of wands here for Gemini. So your person is being very quiet and they're sort of on this own spiritual journey right now. And they could be behind the scenes working a lot. Um, maybe there was a secret that came out about work. That's for some of you. But this person uh, had to really use their intuition and realize that they had to work for what they want. And they are. Because we have the Knight of Cups here with the Seven of Wands here. So, depending on if that's a past person or a new person... I really feel like they're coming. Could be a water sign, a Virgo, or a Pisces. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles here for Gemini. I'll take it. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Bring in an offer, a stable offer. Something very slow, though, um, but it's only because they're being patient. The Knight of Pentacles always brings his offers in slow is because... Um, he knows that whatever he's bringing in, it's worth it. Whatever the Knight of Pentacles is bringing in so slow, it's worth it. Um, and I think someone is waiting. Someone is being patient and waiting. Tell me about the Two of Wands here for Gemini. Six of Cups. Making a choice between your past and your future. Making a choice between maybe a soulmate connection and your past. Give me the three of wands here for Gemini. Three of wands for Gemini. Yeah, making a decision to um, move forward. I feel like whatever is going on between you and this person, uh, there were obstacles in the way and now there isn't. And now this person is starting to, um, they really see you in a really childlike manner, almost like in a way where they can have fun with you all the time. Um, they're starting to be nostalgic. Give me the tower for Gemini. Yep, five of pentacles. They're left out in the cold. They miss you, Gemini. I don't know who I'm reading for, but this person... Um, is really isolating themselves. They're not really speaking right now. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles here. Alright. Someone is left out in the cold and someone else is uh, very single, happy, and abundant. It's like the minute that they did something, the minute that they were left out in the cold, it forced them to look deep inside about their issues. And to use their intuition about certain things, right? Um, they're going to come back and they're going to fight for you. I know that much, Gemini. Um, it's just right now, they could be a little bit financially unstable. Or they're just um, not exactly... They miss you. What else? Material and spiritual prosperity. Throat chakra. And then we have accelerated motion. So like I said, that throat chakra card came out again for you guys. Um, really speaking up. Spirit wants someone to speak up. Maybe you got to speak up um, about what you really want. That's for Gemini. That's for Gemini. Someone read the Venus signs. Gemini. Retreat. What else for Gemini, please? What else for Gemini, please? Reconciliation, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Yeah, this person is going to come towards you and they're going to end up speaking their truth. 
The throat chakra keeps coming up really heavy in this reading because I really feel like someone wants to give some clarity about someone. They want to speak about something, right? Um, reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. And heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And then we have the retreat card. So I feel like a lot of you are not talking to this person right now. But we'll see. If you guys needed a personal reading, uh, the information will be in the description box below. I hope that resonated for you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you in your next reading. Namaste. Bye.